going to expose um, a problem about the halal heaven in Lobothol, uh, South Australia, which was um, uh, I'm the, uh, which was um, animal cruelty. Also, what happened there was um, they had a blood drowning with the animals. No one is following the halal requirements. Uh, the slaughter men have no right to speak. The halal checker the same. The company, they're all um, uh, working with uh, Muhammad Rahman, someone who is a um, uh, third party, who is uh, bring the halal slaughter man as a contractor. Uh, Sigma doesn't do anything about it. We don't even see them very often. We only see them once in three months, which when they are doing the audit, and when we tell them, they disregard, they don't do anything about it. Uh, also, Jakim, they come uh, so uh, every six months or once a year. Uh, could be one of it, but uh, also they don't know what is going on there. We are there present, present every day during what's happening. Um, firstly, uh, I am a Muslim, uh, also Australian, and also didn't like what happened, uh, what was happening in a meat factory in Australia, especially how they're treating the halal product. No one cares about the halal. Before it was only halal, now also is hygiene. Hygiene is also a big concern. The situation of non-halal compliance is very concerning to me. Must affect anyone with integrity. That is why I'm putting my life and my family's life at risk by going public. Um, first of all, the thing what happened in Lobothol, I was um, uh, I was very experienced a lot of men. I was working in the meat industry for. 15 years and over. Um, I, I, was, I, I was appointed to come in to Lobothol as a halal slaughterman. And also when I was appointed, I started working. I saw a lot of problems. I reported to the supervisor. The supervisor said to me, no one before spoke about this. So we don't want to hear you. Uh, otherwise, if you continue this action, then uh, the company will speak about it and they will say, we don't want this guy. I say, okay, no problem. And then I, um, I call him another morning when this incident was happening that I'm going to, uh, I recorded uh, before. When that incident happened, I call him and I send him a photo of it. I say, come have a look. This is your responsibility. You have to come and check what is going on here. He was sitting in the office drinking coffee he's a halal supervisor and then i he come in and he say okay no problem this is fine happen every day but we will call the maintenance they will fix it sometimes it will take two hours what about the product is still continuing like this and he said to me yes it will continue like this uh but we have to wait i say look we either have to stop the job and they say we can't stop the job because there's a time going on, and our product, we have to do it within 10 minutes, all the numbers that we need to get out. Uh, the thing is, they don't want um, uh, us to follow the halal requirement. I tell them, uh, we have to put everything that uh, drawn with blood as a non-halal. They say, we can't, because we don't have a non-halal market. I say, I don't care. I have to fulfill my duty as a Muslim. And they said, well, this, this brother, he's talking too much. If we keep going like this, then we will have a problem. Secondly, what happened uh, after that, they threatened me. They said to me, you will lose your job. And then I talked to a few brothers who give me advice about this. And also I contacted uh, Faizan and reported the issue. And then also they give me what do you call um, uh, his contact and I also uh, get told to expose the whole thing. I take videos, I take photos, I expose everything and then 
that's how we get contacted. So what happened was there, Joachim, when the first article came, Joachim and Sigma, Sigma come, instead of doing investigation, what they did, they um, tried to cover the problem with the company. And then Joachim also, I reported to them, no one replied to my email, no one listened to me. Joachim, back in the days, they used to be uh, very strict and very, very good organized um, Joachim. But now the authority of Joachim, it looks like it's corrupted. They're not doing their job properly. They're not following the requirement. The meat goes to Malaysia and Singapore. Abankai. And I witnessed with that in my own eyes. And I witnessed everything was happening. The meat that goes into the abattoir, the sheep is uh sometimes they go they do goat as well. We didn't even talk about the goat yet. That's even worse. Um so what happened? The goat, um, we didn't talk about it because they have a big goat. The system of doing God there is very hard and sometimes can happen a lot of non-halal. So the system of on land, that's what they saw. And the land, as you can see the picture, in Australian hygiene standard requirement is not allowed to have the chain four or five sheaves in same rile. That's unacceptable. And also halal is unacceptable. The meat drone is there every single day. If not every day, almost every day. It keep happening. When we talk about it, no one listens. Also, the Muslim salute men who are walking there, they're not following the Islamic rites. They don't pray. They drink alcohol. I saw in my own eyes. They drink alcohol. They uh, go to um, gambling. They don't pray in the company. They don't pray even elsewhere. They don't know even when to the, the requirement of the praying. Like example, I give you, if I do Allah Akbar and make a record, they don't know how to say that. My little boy, three years old, knows how to say that. Imagine someone who is Muslim and doing halal rites for all consumers around the world. Imagine. I saw in my own eyes one halal salat man, he come up, Ramadan, eating in front of people. Shame on him. I saw some Australian people come to him and say to him, Brother, are you not Muslim? Why don't you be like uh, other people? And then he said, um, God can judge me. So that's, that's the people we have for slaughtering animals in Australia. Even worse than that. Secondly, Muhammad Rahman, he only interests about his money and his um and his uh, uh business uh, also i contacted him a few times and he said to me brother you don't need to worry about this uh Jackin, everyone they are uh, sigma they are in my pocket i said really sigma i don't know but Jackin in your pocket they said he said to me face to face yeah they are in my pocket and i said i don't think so but when I come to Lobofol and I saw what's happening and I speak about it and I realize everyone is the hands of Muhammad Rahman. Muhammad Rahman is a big liar. He's the, the one who does all these things behind the scene. No one can see it. Uh, halal Salotman wages, he play with it. Sometimes the Halal Salotman, they don't get their rights. The company knows that. The company even, they pay the money to Muhammad Rahman. Muhammad Rahman, he takes some money out um, from there. That money they share with Sigma. And also sometimes Jakim. So my, me as a salotman, you know, um, my rights, my payment, for, uh, sometimes people walk there for 10 hours. And their money, they don't get right. They, they share it by other people. That's also offensive and wrong as a Muslim. We are Muslim, we're supposed to be doing all this correctly. But the thing is, um, Jatim, before, as I said, they were used to be good people, but now the authority of Jatim, 
are not doing correctly. They know me. They know me very well. I know brother who was doing the audit three times. He questioned me. He questioned my Quran, my Islamic. Everything was right. He was happy with me. He said to me, I want this guy as a um, uh, 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 Salatman here. He's very good. But the thing is, they, we cannot tell them any problem. And then when we saw them, when we, I sent to email secretly, they didn't respond. They don't want that to happen. So um, there are a lot of um, uh, problems going through the halal requirement. All my concern is this abattoir is playing with halal. They should have a treaty. They should, as a Muslim, as a Muslim salatman, I have a responsibility. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, if you see a problem, fix it with your hand. If you cannot fix it with your hand, then talk about it, speak about it. Then if you can't speak about it, then you have to hate it from your heart. That's the least of the Iman. So today, which I'm doing is to talk about it. Okay, Allah is my witness. And we want, I want, because sometimes I go with Jama'a from uh, Malaysia. They're very good people, mashallah. And they are my brothers as well. So I, I, I don't want in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask me, when this was happening, why don't you inform your brothers? So today I'm confirming that I inform this to my brothers as my duty as a Muslim to make sure they have to fix this problem and they have to be careful what they're putting in their stomach because it's unhealthy. It's also the animal has been brutally herded by stick. Sometimes you see sheep, um, they have a bite in the lake. Sometimes I, because we're not allowed to go there. So I saw in the window, some dogs, they don't have even a mask. So that's, that's a very bad thing going on there. Uh, no one can talk about it. And when I talk about it and I expose, you know, when the first article come out, they recognized it was me. And the big manager come to me and they put me in the office. He said, you take this photo, I deny it. Of course I will deny I don't want to put risk in my life. I deny it. I've done everything what I could. But they, also, they ask a question, all other salotimans, and also everyone was denied as well. But the thing is, I took videos and everything, um, but I denied to them. And at the end, they said to me, okay, uh, I think this person is you. And then the last day when I was working there, they were, we were only working with two people. We're supposed to have four people in the company. Where is the Malaysian requirement? Where is the team requirement? Who is taking care of it? This is all uh, propaganda, so they can only use the names. Yeah, but what they do, the action is totally against what they're saying and what they're writing. So, subhanAllah, the last day when the manager called me, they saw me a video, they said, This is you who recorded because. Everything they have it in the video camera. And then what happened in the video camera, they will see what's going on. They see every problem, but they don't want to talk about it. But all they're talking about is the person who took the photo. And then, and then what happened? Who took the photo? That's what they worry. Who, who, who made the problem? That's what they worry. But they're not worrying about fixing the problem. So the thing was, I put a... Okay. Okay. Tako, I think kita punya apa yang cakap. Mungkin, mungkin there is some... Sorry, should I adjust? Dah, dah, dah. Can we put it back on the right screen? Wait, 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 wait,
Unmute, unmute your, uh, your thing, yes, inshallah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brother. How are you? Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brother. I'm very good, thank you. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, mashallah, you're alive. Two things I want to say before they ask you questions. First, may Allah grant you fi the usjana for being a real mu'mineen and looking after the ummah of our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi Thumbs up to you. You want to make us be better Muslims, number one. Number two, are you okay if they share your phone number with me and then I'll contact you? Would that be okay? Later we will do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I know, I know, brother, he used to be in Australia with uh, Iksa. Um, I know you very well, Alhamdulillah. Um, so and I know, I know, I know your story and your background, Alhamdulillah. May Allah give you so, Inshallah, you may not uh, have too much to worry. Okay, Alhamdulillah. 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 Aku ada apa-apa yang you nak tanya sebelum Brother Fahid buat statement juga? Ada soalan? Saya nak tanya, adakah hanya sekadar because di Australia ni dia tak nak ada sesuatu juga yang membelah yang halal not only the Dakin So, is it only the focus for Dakin or other organisation from the Australia? So, if I buat the Australia, it's not from the media with them. Okay, dia 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 ada aja. Yeah, yeah. 